Jeffrey Neil Graham with 39. Augusta coached by Brad Ralph, of course. The surge, Jeff Best. Looking at the power play units, Augusta. How about number one in the league, Mississippi? Seventh. We're off and running here inside the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. Once again, I'm Tommy Domenico. Glad to have you with us as the surge will be moving from left to right. Turnover in the offensive end for the surge. Garan gets a shot off, just goes wide. Baker will came away with it. His long pass for Offrey was exactly that long. And I mean, Offrey. Stewart will win that draw. Chambers had it taken away from him by Stetzinger. Claren can't keep it in. Fighting for it. It's Garing. He'll come away with it. Tripped up by Claren. And Augusta's going to get that call. They'll stay with it. Miranoff. And finally, it's broken up of him. Chambers will touch it up. And the shot it broken up again. Kakaro off. He had a great opportunity at it. Isaacs will opportunity for Augusta tonight. Kozlowski will send around near side. Miranoff. Old battle with Grant. Now it's Kakaro and Graham. Up top, Offrey sends it over Stetzinger. Offrey at the point. Offrey fakes the slap shot down low. Kozlowski centers it, and it's broke. Not couldn't get a clean shot off. Credit Ridley on that one. Jenks, Kukali, check that Ridley back and forth. Stewart will come and take the puck behind Smiley now. Leaves it for Ridley. Off the boards, Chambers now. He takes a shot up high by Howe, and he'll exit along with Campbell and Stewart. Grant, Garan, and Skelly out there now. Kozlowski plays that puck off the forecheck by Augusta Kakero now. Doesn't see Offrey. Now caught him late. So he had two forwards creeping in on him. Had to get rid of it quickly. Offrey. Trying to make a move to get by Jenks. Can't do so. Broke it up. He stays with the loose puck, though. Now he'll move it right side. Howe up top. Rister. Nothing there. Grant. Racing down to beat off Stetzinger. Can't do so. 15-30. Check that 14-30. Remaining in the second period as this one's flying by. Ten shots for the surge. Eight for the Hawks. Garan now. Just misplayed at the blue line. They had to retract there. Would have been offsides. Wide. Wigan now keeping it at the blue line. He'll pinch up and play it now. He'll take it behind the back line. Centers it. Megginson shot. Smiley's there. That one might have been tipped too. Credit for racing back on defense. Deflected out in front. Sent to the near side boards. Now McGill getting by Ridley. McGill trying to make a move. Can't do so. Stewart will clear it for the surge. That puck's tipped and up and over the glass. Trying to leave it for Stewart. Thought he was a little closer by, though. Chambers will keep it in. Oltis will kick it to the side. Megginson now controls it for Augusta. He looks up. He's got Wigan on his left. He'll feed it to him. Watson now to McGill. Gill had it poked away. Grant trying to come away with it in the neutral zone. It's going to be Grant, though. He'll bounce it off the boards right corner. Grant and Megginson now. Right corner. Campbell will come away with it. Nobody home on Campbell's pass. Eckernock. Eckernock. Right wing. The backhander. Smiley's there. He lost it and held on to it. The whistle blew. And then Grant and McGill skate right into Smiley. Got by Grant. MBL now. He'll play it. Left point. Clarence up top. Stewart moves it in. Stewart over to Versteeg Litwin. Waiting. Waiting. Up top to Clarence. Sends it down low. Price getting over on Stewart now. Minute gone in the period and the power play. First Steve Litwin. Stetzinger up on him at the point. Four on three hockey for another 45 seconds. Stewart can't play that pass. Swatting at it. Losing a stick in the process. He's going to have to race over quickly. Down on the ice is Graham. First Stig Litwin and Grant trying to come away with a puck for Mississippi. Now Campbell's out there. Price has it for Augusta. Campbell steals it. Turn around. And the shot. Mark First Stig Litwin denied somehow. Everybody in the building thought the game was over. NBL in the shot. The wrister. Oltis there. The surge in the Riverhawks in a shootout after OT. First up. It's the fan favorite here in Mississippi. Aaron McGill.
McGill moves it in right side. McGill with a quick move. Couldn't really get much on it as he went left and then trying to come back right. Now in Mississippi, it's going to be Billy Sears who barely saw any ice time in the second and third period. Billy Sears now, he'll move it in left side. The wrister, oh, just missing wide. Next up for Augusta, it's going to be Marinoff. Round two. Marinoff will move it in now from the left side. The back hitter, nice move. Smiley with the kick save. <laughs> Sean Skelly. Takes it. Moving it in with the pump fake, and boy, Ultis there once again. So the surge. Trying to beat him on his right side. And it's going to be Taylor now for Augusta. Taylor with another nice move. Smiley denies him. Tyler Ruel will take it in round three of the shootout. Tyler Ruel. Get some speed going, Tyler. With the shot, he just missed it wide. He saw the post in the wide open right side. As he gave the look of disgust as he skated by. Levac will take it now. The 6'3", 215-pound left winger. Makes the move, and he's denied by the post. He had Smiley beat. NBL next up for Mississippi. NBL. Moves it in right side. The shot, Oltis stones him. Next out on the ice, Matt Offery. Heading it to the fifth round now, it's Offery. Smiley comes way out of the crease, Offery with some nice moves, Smiley with the save. He tried to beat him five hole, he said no sir. Nick Duran, can he win it for Mississippi? Grandparents in the stands. Duran with the moves, and the shot, he beats a five hole, and the surge went in a shootout. Oltis was money all night, and probably the weakest shot got by him for the victory. Keeper Smiley with his second shutout of the season. And he picks up win number 18. Oh, the Garand family is loving this one. When the family is in town, the kid can't be stopped. Nikki Garand with the game winner in a shootout. And the fans that showed up for a Tuesday night in the SPHL, got everything that they wanted and more. I don't think you can have a more entertaining scoreless game.